Indian government relies on more on the private companies than its own undertakings raise one very important question. Is privatization is good for Indian defense and its working class? The BJP government is promoting privatization in the defense production. Until February 2018, Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion has already issued 348 licenses to 210 Indian companies for the manufacture of various licensable defense items. 70 licensed companies covering 114 licenses have reported commencement of production. Apart from this, one manufacturing license has also been issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs for small arms and ammunition. After winning an election for the second term, the BJP government now has been trying to deliver a fatal blow to the ordnance factory network through the corporatization of the ordnance factories with the ulterior aim of fully privatizing them to facilitate handing over the huge asset and most modern production infrastructure to private hands on a plater much to the determined of national interest. All India Defence Employees Federation, Indian National Defence Workers, Bharatiya Pratiraksha Mazdoor Sangh and others have protested this retrograde move and jointly decided to stage one month long strike in all ordnance factories from 20th August onward, demanding a withdrawal of such decisions. Three national level trade unions of employees and workers of 41 Indian ordnance factories under the Ordnance Factory Board have announced that they will go on a one month long strike from August 20th in protest against the center, center's likely decisions to corporatize and privatize all unions. The 4 lakh workers from 42 states owned ordnance factories, DRDO units, all the Ministry Engineering Service Centers and Army Station workshops are challenging the government at the policy level to put an end to privatizing the defense production. The OFB and the unions described the strike as a first phase of the movement and demanded the withdrawal of the government's decision. The three unions will be joined by the Confederation of Defence Recognised Associations. Since Centre enforced Arm Rules 2016, which introduced a new laws to facilitate the production of weapons by the private players in the collaboration with foreign partners, a large section of officials and staff in the state-owned ordnance factories were apprehending a similar move to streamline the OFB units. In ordnance factories, there is manufacturing about 615 items. But Modi government have withdrawn 274 items out of them. From 2019-20, these items won't be produced by the ordnance factories and their production will go to the private sector. And another important point to be noted over here is that there is no pension for government employees recruited after January 2004. The defined pension scheme is withdrawn and the Atal Bihari Vajpayee government had introduced this contributory pension scheme popularly called as national pension system initially when the scheme was announced. The government had said that the employees will get enough pension from the scheme to sustain themselves. But what we are seeing is that the employees retiring with the schemes are getting paltry amount of rupees 1000 to 1500. The employees have been protesting against this privatization drive since 2017. Allowing the private sector to the control the defense sector has altered the political dynamics around the world, but particularly in West. It has led to the rise of corporate cronism, allowing unelected rich business tycoons to have an unwarranted say in the foreign policy of a nation. In too many cases, these corporate leaders have too much say in deciding which country their government would wage a war against, which country to issue a sanction against, which country to sell weapons to. India has become the largest buyer of the arms in the international market after already bagging $20 billion worth of contracts. Global arms majors are still drooling a bigger slice of the pie. The stakes are indeed very high for the Modi government as well as the workers. When 4 lakh workers raise their voice, no privatization of defense production, it echoes like no more ruffles.